that Lawler wins and regains a Southern heavyweight title, Jimmy Hart will leave the territory for one year, will make no attempt to return under a mask or any other way, and by the same token, if Gilbert retains the title, Jerry Lawler has agreed he will leave his hometown and will not return or make an attempt within one year. The big surprise, whoa, the flying press put Lawler down, two, and he kicked out. He almost had him, but boy, oh boy, it's hard to believe, but you're looking at it right here, right now. And Gilbert firing away, nailing Lawler hard. Lawler right back, going for a pile driver. He drove him down. Gilbert escapes, gets out of the ring. If he hadn't have gotten out of the ring when he did, Lawler would have it over with right now. Oh boy, look at Gilbert. Jerry catches him with a foot as he came in. Pounds ahead of Eddie Gilbert on that top turnbuckle. Gilbert down into the timer's table. His manager right over with him, trying to help him back up to the ring. That may do it. Gilbert rolling under the ropes. Boy, I'll tell you, what a lot of savvy this young fella has picked up in the short time he's been a pro wrestler. <coughs> over the top rope. Waller put him on the floor. to the mat, covers him up, one, two, but he gets out of there before the two count got cold. Eddie Gilbert, who has publicly proclaimed the fact that he is the new king, all of his life he's dreamed of taking Lawler's place, as he said, as Lawler, uh-oh, there's that cane. He grabbed that cane. Jabbed it in Lawler's midsection, broke it over his back. Two, and Lawler saves it with a. Whoa, he pounded him hard. Gilbert coming off. Lawler's down, two, and just barely saved himself. Lawler with his shoulders flat on the canvas. Gilbert trying to finish him off. Comes down with both feet right in the midsection. He was on a second turnbuckle. Buried him in the midsection with both feet. Eddie Gilbert going for the suplex. Pops Lawler down. Final one, two. Gilbert, he really drove him into the canvas. And Lawler moves that left shoulder up. Gilbert shows signs of weariness. He's having trouble holding Lawler down. Lawler pounded down, and once again, Gilbert grabs part of that broken cane. Tommy up on the ring apron, and Gilbert jabs Lawler right in the throat with it. And Eddie stinging Lawler hard. Boy, he really put him down. Woo! Lawler just keeps coming back up after him. Stomping Lawler's head. In the air, body slam. Gilbert 
goes to the second rope. Flies down over Lawler for another. He got a two count, and that's all. Pulls the table up, brings Lawler out of the ring, and slams Jerry Wild right into that table. Gilbert's pulled it all out. He grabs a mic stand. They're out here on the floor. Gilbert's tried everything, but he hadn't been able to get a pin on him. Referee running Tommy H, the lookalike. Jerry still under his own power. table on Lawler. Gilbert jumps on top of it. 21 minutes in. Jerry back to his feet. There's that strap of Lawler snapped down and he really tags Gilbert hard. Jerry, a good running start, nails him again, but stumbles into the ropes. Swings so hard, he, he loses his own balance. Lawler, again puts Gilbert down, staggers around the ring. Lawler going for a pile driver, got low bridge by Eddie Gilbert. Lawler down, Gilbert down. Gilbert's glassy-eyed almost. Eddie Gilbert staggering to the turnbuckles. He's gonna try to finish Lawler off. Jerry coming up off the floor, nails Gilbert. Climbs up on the ropes with him. Lawler grabbing him, suplex from the second rope. Gilbert down, prostrate. Lawler going to the turnbuckles. Tommy H trips him off that top rope. Lawler down. 27 minutes right at the 28 minute mark. They're both stretched out. Gilbert turning it over. He's on his knee. down. Gilbert falls across him. They count him. Lawler's shoulders are down. Two. He rolls Gilbert up. Two. Three. Got it. Jimmy Hart is gone. Twenty-eight minutes and twenty-eight seconds. And one that will not be forgotten. It'll go down in history. Jerry Lawler not only regains the Southern belt, but...